I'm Chef Rolf from the Saltwater Cafe and you're watching the new Florida Kitchen. We have some great guests today, great food on another great sunny day in Florida. Chef Rolf's new Florida Kitchen is brought to you by Fusilla Kia of Port Charlotte, Chow Gelato, Always an Occasion Floors Thin Decor, Venice Gondolier Sun, Sarasota Orthopedic Associates, Fox Restaurant Equipment and Supply, Top 10 Sarasota, Realty by Dale Thomas, Venice Olive Oil, iHeart Media, Natural Awakenings, Venice Theater, Netcinity, Sweet Treats and Gifts, and the Saltwater Cafe. Thank you, Tommy Santelli, for coming. Great music, really appreciate it. You can actually enjoy my Saltwater Cafe every Friday night. That's great. Okay, we have great guests here. Thank you very much for everybody for coming. We have Sarasota Orthopedic Associate Sandy Wall here. We have Circuits Arts Convention Tory, uh, Jennifer Mitchell here. We have SNN Suncoast FYI host Nancy Neal here, O'Neill. And we have visited Sarasota County Air Indigen. Thank you very much, really appreciate it. Okay, we want to start off. This is a little bit more all about Florida. It's a sunny day again. And what we will have, we will cook the fish is grouper today. And then we will cook some oysters. Actually, we're not cooking, we eat them raw. I will show you how to fix this a little bit up. You know, some people still scared about raw oysters. I show you a way where it's really good to eat them. And then we will have some strawberry. Florida is all about strawberry. February comes in, strawberry season started. Okay, want to start with Sandy Wall. You want to come up here? I'm here with Sandy Wall, and you brought a guest with you today. I did. I brought Jennifer Mitchell with the Circus Arts Conservatory. And while my role as marketing director is all about making sure that people know that we have three locations and our doctors do orthopedic um, conditions, injuries, things like that, something people don't know about us is how we support in the community. And one of our favorite organizations is the Circus Arts Conservatory. And I'm gonna let Jennifer tell you all about what they do. Thank you so much, Sandy. We value our partnership with Sarasota Orthopedics. Um, we're the Circus Arts Conservatory, home to incredible circus performances and stewarding the future of circus while still preserving an incredible heritage here in Southwest Florida. Yeah. Um, we produce professional shows under a big top, bringing in the best international artists to wow and bring wonder and amazement to audiences. And we steward America's longest running youth circus, the Sailor Circus, an incredible legacy here in Sarasota. Young people learning life skills through the circus arts. And we're in the community, in healthcare, in nursing homes and assisted living facilities, bringing humor and clowns um, to bring joy to those who are in need. And we use the circus as a medium to teach. Physics, Newton's laws, we're in classrooms and we're correlating the circus and the fun and the, uh, the wonder of the circus with academics. That's great. Well, you can get some more information. At circusarts.org. Uh, visit our website or come to one of our two locations, Bay of Vista and 41. That blue and white dome is home to Sailor Circus. And our big top is going up for the next three months at Nathan Benderson Park. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, let's get ready to eat something. We're a lot of talking, you know. Yeah. Okay, good. What we're doing is uh, we want to do oyster Romanoffs. And that's a basic all recipe. What we do, uh, it's actually caviar and sour cream. That's the base uh, I will show you to do. First, we want a little salad with that to do the things. Okay, what we have to start off is a dressing. What I have here is a little mustard. And what we're doing here, I brought some oil with me. You can grab one here too. This It's a garlic oil. And here we have some... Um, Apple, it's a Granny Smith apple vinegar. You're doing about two thirds oil on one third vinegar. You can pour some of that okay. in there. Yeah. Good. Probably all of it. We need a lot of it. Go ahead. Okay. A little bit more, a little oh, bit more. Wow. Just don't We're stop. Being generous, aren't Done. We? Let's go. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Perfect. And I put a little bit of lemon oil in. Sicily lemon oil just makes the freshman. And they are beautiful oil. Those days you can actually, it's all, all of olive oil stores uh, open all over the place and that's the Venice olive oil store here where I'm using. And then we do just a little salt and a little black pepper. Then I brought some greens with me here. You can use any kind of greens where you like. I always use a little spinach, field greens and then a little arugula. Let's give him a little nice. kick in the salad. And uh, I have here some goat cheese, put the little goat cheese, little walnuts. 
couple tomatoes, and then of course we are in Florida. Why not a couple strawberries? So you know it's one of my favorite goat cheese and strawberries. Another one. You want to get start? Then we put that dressing. Hold on, I gotta get the dressing on it too. Let's start stir that all in. It's only just can stir it. Okay. Meanwhile, while we're stirring that, I have here some apple apricot oysters. You know, you can great Florida oysters what you get out of the base there around apple apricola. And what they're doing, and you know, some people are afraid when they start off, they should do something with oysters, not just eat them like raw like this. Okay, what's I doing here? I shock them, I wash them a little bit out, then I use actually a little bit sour cream. That's a very, very simple recipe. You do a little sour cream, you can put when you want a little lemon in there. You don't have to when you don't want, but you can put a little lemon in there, put that right on top, just like that. And then what we're doing is, I have here balsamic vinegar caviar. That's a lampfish caviar, where it's infused with balsamic vinegar. And just giving that really another flavor to, to the oysters. We'll put a little bit of that on top. You will see you get that pop in your mouth. Good. Looks and so nice as well. Good, and then, uh, just end up those with the little scallions. Okay, good. Just like that. Okay, how are we plating this up? We take it over here. I take here the plate. Let's grab a little bit of the little bit of the salad here. You did a great job. It looks great. Good. We put a little bit of that salad right on here. Good. Perfect. Then we take our oysters. We we'll put three of those right on here. And you have simple up and dice. It looks quick, nice very simple. Colorful. Yeah, Beautiful. exactly. And it's another way to eat oysters than just make cocktail sauce where people have have it. Okay. And we have Paul here from Republic National. Rob, thank good you to see you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you for having you. Great to be here. And Dan, be surprised what you found here. Well, you know, the Lake Ridge Winery is a winery from Florida. Yeah. I know you've been up to the yeah. winery to yeah. see it before. Yeah. Uh, this first wine that we're going to pair with these oysters, uh, this is their Sun Blush. Yeah. And this is a wine that really you can drink sitting around the pool, sitting on the beach, right here, all day, whatever you want to do. It's, uh, it's good for breakfast and everything. Good. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to pour a little bit of that for you here. We're going to pair this with the oysters and it's going to be a delicious yeah. pairing. When you get a chance to drive by there, yes. just stop in. They have a great wine tasting there, just to have a glass of wine. It's, oh, great. Yeah. it's a beautiful winery when you get a chance there. Okay, we're going here quick to the break. When we come back, of course, we will cook some grouper. We'll be right back. I'm Chef Fro from the Saltwater Cafe. Oyster salmon fresh from the sea. Time for another Chef Ralph recipe. The good times and great food are here to stay. Meet me at Saltwater Cafe. February is upon us. 0% financing 75 months. No payments for 90 days. Only at Facilo Kia. And girls, is there anything else we really need to say? Well, yeah, that we have a cruise. Cruise with oh, yes. right? <laughs> it's all about being you. Yes. yes. Hi, I'm Sandrina McLeod, Visitor Experience Manager at Visit Sarasota County. At Visit Sarasota County, we're excited to offer visitor services to anyone looking for information on things to do in Sarasota County. You can find us on the web at visitsarasota.com or you can meet us in person at our new visitor center on the corner of 301 and Fruitville inside the Sarasota Chambers building. I'm Chef Ro from the Saltwater Cafe. Come see me for happy hour from 4 to 5.30. We have wings, oysters, shrimps, flatbread, and a lot more. Wings and oysters for 69 cents, 49 cents shrimp. See you at happy hour. The New Florida Kitchen is brought to you by the Saltwater Cafe. Welcome back to the New Florida Kitchen. I'm Chef Ro from the Saltwater Cafe. And uh, how was the salad? It was delicious. You like that sound great. Thank you. I'm here with Erin from Visit Sarasota. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having us. Um, before we go into our whole group story, what we have here, tell us a little bit what you're doing, what you, what's going on. Well, I have the pleasure of working at Visit Sarasota County, and it's our job to make sure that tourism stays alive and well in Sarasota yeah. County. 
Uh, Sarasota is a beautiful destination to sell, and so we really just want to make sure that the arts and the eco and the restaurants yeah. are all well represented. And when the visitors are here, we're the ones giving them all of the information on what they should see and do. Yeah, and you're doing a fantastic job. Thank, Thank you, you very much. <laughs> you know, we had the other other day, do nice beaches too. I saw you Gorgeous. the other day on Monday in the restaurant. It's great. Thank you very much. Absolutely. You know, on the, Really, you know, we're working with you together. You bring parties in, that's great. And actually the customer tell me what you're coming from and it's great to talk with you guys doing. Yes, I mean, if someone wants to come into our visitor center, we have a beautiful brand new visitor yeah. center in downtown Sarasota, okay. yeah. 1945 Fruitville Road. But if people want us to put together bags for their own groups, maybe they've got a wedding or a reunion, um, any kind of group that they've got coming into town, our visitor center would be thrilled to help them. Okay, great, thank you very much. Great. Okay, Grouper, that's a local fish too. Yes. Probably 90% of the restaurants serving in this town. On that other brought some grouper with it. And a lot of people have never seen grouper hold. That is actually two different kinds out there. There's a red on the black grouper out there. This is a red grouper. And uh, we're sitting here in that room and we have all full of fish here. You cannot smell it. You don't smell the fish. That means it's fresh. You know, when you start to smell the fish, it's something wrong. <laughs> Okay, that's beautiful fresh fish. And what we did, when you take action, you see the steps we did. I have a whole fish that come in this morning, that was actually swimming this morning, still in the water. We just take this out. When you actually fillet, you take the fillet out, right here under the head. That's what you get, one whole grouper fillet. Another point what I want before we go further here, you see this nice and red, dark red. That's another point where you see that fish is fresh and not dry. You know, on we sell. The most thing is when you can smell the fish, when you go out to up to the counter, ask. I always ask, what's the freshest fish? And when you don't smell, that's great. You know, that's what we do. Okay, then I cut them up a little bit in portions. They are about six to eight ounces, whatever you prefer. And what we're doing here, we're making actually a new Florida fish. That means it's a topping on, on the fish. Okay, what we're doing, the fish, very simple, because they have such good flavor. You all don't want to over, overdo the flavor. What we're doing here, we want to whisk that. We take a little white wine. We do the little Worcestershire. Yeah, a little bit. That's good. And then uh, lemon juice. Okay, what we are actually doing here, we will actually broil the fish. That's what it is. And then we pour that oil. What I have here is a little olive oil on the bottom, that it don't stick. Then I take that fish and put that right oil over. That will keep them nice and moist. Okay, good. We are not done yet here. Then what we're doing, I have here some blackened seasoning. We'll put a little blackened seasoning over. I don't really play black in that fish. I just want a little light spice. Just like that, and then just a little bit of salt. Okay, that will do it. Okay, we will put that in the oven with 375 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's what you will have. Okay, we go quick here to the break, and when we come back, we will make some topping for the fish. We will be right back. I'm Chef Rolf from the Saltwater Cafe. We have stone crab season. October 15th to May 15th. Now available in the three course menu with prime rib and brownie supreme. See you at the Saltwater Cafe. I'm Chef Rolf from the Saltwater Cafe. Join me for the Lobster Festival. We have a half a stuffed lobster with grouper cake, main lobster, or a cereal steak with grouper cake and a half a main lobster. Starting at just $19.99, only at the Saltwater Cafe. The new Florida Kitchen is brought to you by the Saltwater Cafe. Welcome back to the new Florida Kitchen. I'm Chef Rolf from the Saltwater Cafe. And uh, we have our fish cooking now. 
Uh, we are probably in five, good five, ten minutes by, by now, five minutes probably. We have ten more minutes to go. Meanwhile, we want to do the, the topping. Uh, I'm here with Sandrina McLeod, I say that right? Yes, you do. Great, great. Uh, and you with Visit Sarasota also. Yes. Tell us a little bit what you do over there. I'm the Visitor Experience Manager of Visit Sarasota County, yes. so I manage the visitor centers. And I work with our volunteers. We have about 40 volunteers. Uh, I take them on uh, field trips. Okay. which we do with our partners and um, managing all the visitor services so we welcome anybody at our new visitor center at um, Fruitvale and 301. Okay that's great okay mm -hmm. what we need to do here together we will do the topping okay. to topping to our fish okay what we're starting off is here with a little bit of oil okay that pan is hot this can uh, splatter it a little bit when you want to stand back okay what I have here I have actually alligator sausage here this is um, it's an Italian sausage, what we actually produce ourselves. Actually, I uh, have a butcher shop for making that. Um, he makes actually takes Italian sausage and then he makes in alligator sausage to it. You know, and this tastes like, you will taste like, it tastes like an Italian, spicy Italian sausage. Okay, we start that off. Okay, I pre-cooked that a little bit because that got to be fully cooked. Okay, I, I pre-cooked that uh, earlier. Okay, you can start stirring that. Okay, good. Good, and then we have here a little onions. We go with onions in here. Good. Good. We'll just get that a little color. Good. Beautiful. Good, and then we have here some fresh garlic. And I think I mentioned in another show already, I have that garlic always in the refrigerator, just like that. What I do, I buy one of those drawer garlic where you can buy in all the grocery stores. I take that ground the garlic up, put them back in that jar, in that jar, and I put gar olive garlic, uh, olive oil on it, and it's good for months. Never a problem. You know, then you're never running out with olive oil. You can do the same with the herbs. I got a little herb garden, and the gar herbs are right. I chop them up, put them in fresh olive oil. Always good, and you always have fresh herbs and garlic at home. Okay, let's put a little bit of that in here. Do you like garlic? Love Me too. Garlic. <laughs> good. A lot of garlic. Good. Yeah. Good. A little garlic. Then you put some chili peppers. You can buy here whatever you prefer. There are sweet chili peppers. You can actually go spicy when you want. You can go all the way to jalapeno when you like it really spicy. But here are just the regular chili peppers. Okay. Then we have here some crab meat. Put some crab meat in here also. Good. Okay, good. And then a little scallions. Good. Okay, good. That's good. We will cook this for two, three minutes. It got fully cooked. This then will be our fish ready. We go one more time here for a quick break. When we come back, we'll show you how it looks like. We make all the sausages, all the lunch meats here. There's no preservatives, no fillers, nothing artificial. March will be 32 years, he's doing it, right here in Port Charlotte. Come see us at Calis! Do you know how to manage your diabetes naturally? No, do you? This article in Natural Awakenings of Sarasota Magazine tells you how. Really? Yes, it also has great information on nutrition, fitness, personal growth, and green living. Tell me more. Sure, look at this. It even has a healthy kid and a healthy pet section. So we get Sophie to do yoga? Exactly, and it has a calendar section with pages filled with things to do in Sarasota too. Guess I won't be making plans for poker this weekend. Ah, uh, no. Get your copy of Natural Awakenings magazine at Whole Foods or Richard's Food Emporium stores. Before the lights, before the cheers and the championship, you prepare, work hard, and sacrifice, and we're with you each step of the way. At Sarasota Orthopedic Associates, we're more than just your team physicians. We're on the field, in the huddles, practicing day after day to make the plays that get you back in the game. Back on your feet, back to work, and back to life. For more information, visit us online at soa.md. I'm Chef Rowe from the Saltwater Cafe. Join me for the anniversary three course menu. We have a chili shrimp, we have a prime rib on lobster mac and cheese, and a brownie with vanilla ice cream. See me at the Saltwater Cafe, brushed. 
Welcome back to the new Florida kitchen. I'm Chef Ro from the Saltwater Cafe and our grouper was now about 15 minutes in the oven. Good 15 minutes. Um, I brought with me here from the restaurant a couple of asparagus. We put a couple of asparagus here on the plate. Very simple, just like that. Then I brought a little mashed potato with me. This is actually uh, more like a muslin mashed potato because I actually whipped them very, very soft and thin. Okay, good. Then we take one of those pieces of groupers here. We put that right on. Eh? Then we take a little bit of topping. Put that right over it, just like that. sausage here. And I brought with me a little bernet sauce. Bernet sauce is a sauce, uh, you know maybe hollandaise sauce from the morning um, when you eat breakfast eggs benedict. It's the same sauce, I just add a little tarragon and tarragon vinegar. Good, then we put that on. And uh, actually instead of lemon we do something different a little bit. I do a little curlic oil, a little arugula and a little lemon vinegar we mix that up and we actually garnish the plate with that. That will give him the acidity of the vinegar right on here. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. Here you have it. And Paul brought us a wine with us for, for the, the tasting. Yes, what sir. What do you recommend? Well, you know, this is a fish dish and yep. we're in Florida and it's hot in Florida. Yep. So this is a red wine, but it's a lighter style red wine. This is the Southern Red from Lake Ridge Winery. And this wine has just enough sweetness to kind of balance out the flavors, yeah. but enough structure to go yeah. with the Bernays sauce. Should really be a great pairing okay, with this good. dish. So okay. let's pour a little bit of that. Let's try it out. And then we will we'll taste that all. And when Sounds we come good. back, we have actually my favorite ready. A little chalato mm. with ice cream, you will see. That's going to go good with the pork. Strawberry. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. We will be right back. Hi folks, welcome to Venice Olive Oil Company. Our store features seasonal oils and vinegars from all over the world. We do free tastings every day. We also have great gift items. Come on down and see me at the Venice Olive Oil Store. Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill. Please join us Fridays at 9.30 a.m. and 8 p.m. for Suncoast FYI, where we feature local events. The new Florida Kitchen is brought to you by the Saltwater Cafe. Welcome back to the new Florida Kitchen. I'm Chef Rolf from the Saltwater Cafe. And how was that grouper? Oh, yeah, it was oh, great. Or not oh, nice gosh. and fresh grouper, yeah. nothing, yeah. nothing else than that. And really it's worth to pay a little bit more and get that fresh fish. Yeah. Okay, I'm here with Nancy O'Neill from SNN6, WFYI. Yep. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Thank it's a you pleasure. For that we were talking so long time. You will come on and yeah. never a schedule was right to happen. I know. It's really a pleasure. I to know. Have you had you. I had you on my show yeah. and I'd like to have you back again. Okay. So we'll Tell us a little about bit that. about your show. Well, uh, Suncoast FYI, what we do is bring in uh, local community uh, events, charity organizations that might be having an event that they'd like to share with our viewers and uh, really about just being community oriented. What, whatever is going on in the community, uh, we're our, we are the station that focuses on local news. Yeah. So it's all, about, it's all about Sarasota and the surrounding communities. Um, Sarasota, Venice, Northport, we go um, up to St. Pete. So anything, Manatee County, all of that. And anybody that's out there that has an event, uh, that they would like to share with us, please call our sales department and we'll get you on the show. Oh, that's okay. great, that's great. Um, I was on the show, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I had a lot of fun, that's great. And I really worked it to get on because we had a great response, you do such a great job. Um, you, you told me a little earlier about the college in Florida. What do you do there? Well, um, my full-time job, I yeah. work for Ringling College of Art and Design. Okay. I'm fortunate enough to um, manage the Made By Gallery and that's where we sell only student and alumni artwork. So I work with the students, we help give them a perspective on the business aspect of what they love to do, which of course is their artwork. 
And, um, you know, in the meantime, we, we sell um, art and um, other items that they may make, such as jewelry or pottery. It doesn't have to be a new major, anything they make. And we're open from Mondays through Saturdays. And uh, I hope people come in and visit us and see what we have there. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much for coming one more time. Okay, what we want to do here, Florida is all about strawberry. And then, uh, you know, you have the big strawberry short festival where I almost go every year because I like it. <laughs> um, I like festivals with food. Holidays with food, festivals with food, they're all my days, you know. Okay, what we do here, we take a little bit of the strawberry, beautiful time of year. And you always say a little bit, but there's a lot more than a little bit. <laughs> you, you just don't want a little bit, you know? <laughs> okay, we put a little, yeah, good, the strawberry here. And then we have here a little sugar. You might want to yeah, throw that in. Yeah, add it. two halves. Let's go oh, sweet okay. and not right. a little bit more. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, on the half here, a little Cointreau. Well, we put a little uh, liquor on here. On the, yeah. You like it, you say. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, good. And then we stir this up here. Good. Good. You can smell that orange flavor coming out here. Okay, good. Then I have a local bakery here, a lemon cake. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we're doing is, I cut a little, it's actually a key lime cake. Beautiful, we cut a nice little piece right out. And what is that great on the cake? This is one of my favorite cakes. It's, it's lemon and key lime infused. What happens is, you bake the cake, you put actually key lime and choke it in the pan when the cake is still warm, and you put the, ca the cake back in your pan. It sucks all out that sugar, that lemony sugar and to make the cakes very nice and moist. Okay, we put the piece here on, on the thing. Good. Okay, take that cake away here. Beautiful. And then I have gelato. That's a double chocolate gelato. Which is fabulous. I've tried some at the Saltwater Cafe. Yeah, and that's dark <laughs> chocolate. You put a little bit of that on it, just like that. And then a couple of strawberries. Good. Okay, good. Great, okay. And then we take a little whipping cream here. And put a chunk right, right here on top. Good. Then we got here a little fresh mint. A little fresh mint on it. And a little powder sugar. Good. And that's like a modern strawberry shortcake, how I like it. Okay, we have Paul here from Republic National. Yeah, well, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So this last wine for this dessert here, it's, uh, it's going to be the greatest pairing. Yeah. This is San Sebastian. This is another wine from Florida. It's the sister winery to Lake Ridge. Yeah. Now Lake Ridge being the number one largest winery in the state of Florida, this is a close second, San Sebastian. Okay. So this wine is a port wine. It's a ruby port, uh, and it's got 18% alcohol. So not only does it taste good, but it's also effective. Uh, so whenever you're drinking this, you want to have a smaller glass. You don't need to yeah. pour six ounces of it because nope. two ounces will probably get you right where you need to be. Port wine, strawberry, and chocolate is nothing better than that. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, great. This is a match made in okay. heaven. Okay, yeah. great. I want to say thank you very much for everybody for coming. Have always good wishes up north, and that's how we live down in Florida. See you next time. Chef Rolf's new Florida kitchen is brought to you by. Fusilla Kia of Port Charlotte, Chow Gelato, Always an Occasion Florist and Decor, Venice Gondolier Sun, Sarasota Orthopedic Associates, Fox Restaurant Equipment and Supply, Top 10 Sarasota, Realty by Dale Thomas, Venice Olive Oil, iHeart Media, Natural Awakenings, Venice Theater, Netcinity, Sweet Treats and Gifts, and the Saltwater Cafe.